the greatest starting 11 for Barcelona. That's what we're building today. And we're going to play within FC24, but this video scares me so much because it comes down to ball knowledge. And not only does it come down to ball knowledge, in every position except for like one or two, it can really be argued because Barcelona's history and Barcelona's incredible club has had so many amazing players that have passed through this team. So making everybody come to an agreement is going to be very difficult. And a lot of it's going to be very controversial. For example, when you look at this bench, I have Luis Figu. And instantly when you see Luis Figu and Barca, you think traitor. But the truth is, Luis Figu might have had his best ever footballing year with the Barcelona jersey. I know he left Barca to go to Real Madrid, but when you really think about what he did for Barcelona, his best ever year could have been with them. So at the end of the day, I know a lot comes down to this, that, yes, no, blah, 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 blah. He had more games for Barcelona. Is he more of a Madrid player? Maybe yes, but this amazing player passed through this amazing club. So at the end of the day, when you think about the greatest Barcelona players to ever put this shirt on, Figu is in that conversation because he was Barca's and Madrid's. And that's just the way it goes. So again, he's here and a lot of it's going to be controversial. But certain positions will not be controversial and cer certain positions won't even be in the game. Like there's certain players that aren't in the game. So in the comments down below, I need you guys to let me know what team you want me to do next. Hit that big old thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on and uh, let's test my ball knowledge. So we're going to start off with the left back position. And I don't really think this one can be argued. I don't want to say nothing really stupid here because y'all are going to make fun of me if I say something stupid. But I think Jordi Alba is probably the best left back to ever put the Barca shirt on. He accomplished a crazy amount with this club. He was part of the big run that Barca went on. He is just an all-around incredible left back. So I think Barcelona fans would all be very, very happy with me putting Jordi Alba in this list. I don't think anybody's going to be upset about this. I don't think anyone's going to be mad about this. I think everyone will be 100% on board with me with Jordi Alba. Honestly, when I think about Barcelona's back line, I just remember how great Jordi Alba was and how he represented that shirt so beautifully. So the Spanish man, Jordi Alba, into the team. Now, the right back position, I love that I did this because none of y'all can argue. Hey, <laughs> kind of. I kind of got y'all. Um, so watch this. See, Barca fans instantly want to start yelling at me, right? Because you're like, hey, yo, we had Dani Alves. We had this. We had that. Uh, I put uh, I put Puyol. I put Puyol. Now, the reason I put Puyol is because there's not that many right backs uh, from Barcelona in the game. So by me putting him here, it allows you guys to not yell at me because he could play right back or center back. So since y'all can't yell at me, I got Puyol at right back. And you know what's crazy? When you think about Barcelona's best center backs and stuff like that, or you think of Arrojo that they got now, it's kind of crazy that him and like could, uh, Puyol could play right back and center back. I don't know. I thought that was pretty interesting. But um, yeah, man, big Puyol is who is going to be at the right back position. So y'all can't yell at me. I got y'all, lads. Um, we're going to move to the goalkeeper position where I'm going to go ahead with Ter Stegen because... Victor Valdez is not in the game, um, and other great goalkeepers from Barca are not in the game. But I do want to say this. In my lifetime, okay, and I'm kind of an old man now, uh, but in my lifetime, lads, I think Ter Stegen is the best goalie I've ever seen play for Barca. Listen, Victor Valdez was a cool goalie, but Victor Valdez's success, and again, I'm not dissing him for this, but he had such a great team that, it, like, for real, for real, for real, lads, like, that guy didn't really get tested a lot <laughs> because he had such a great team ahead of him. Um, so it's hard to say with Victor Valdez, but if you look at like Spain and stuff, like he never got the go at Spain. It was kind of always Casillas or something like that. So for my in my in my lifetime, I, I think Ter Stegen might be the best goalie I've ever seen put a Barca shirt on because Ter Stegen's really good. But maybe it's Victor Valdez. Now we're gonna move to the center back positions where this is where y'all can start to really start to troll me a little bit here. But um, I kind of went with something that made sense right because again there's not enough players in this game like pk is not in the game um you know pk and Puyo would probably be the center back duo i would go with but they're not in the game so i went with the next best thing i threw Puyo at the right back position since they don't have that many good right backs and then i went to heroes where the first one i'm going to pick up 
is Rafael Marquez. Now, Rafael Marquez, the Mexican legend, the Mexican beast, the monster himself, represented Mexico and Barcelona so well. He played for Barcelona for 242 games, seven seasons of Rafael Marquez. Is he the best ever center or one of the best ever center backs put back in, in, in the, on the Barca shirt list? That's up for you guys to debate. I would personally, if everybody was in the game, I would go Jordi Alba, Puyol, PK, and probably... Um, like Donny Alves. Uh, probably that's probably the best ones that have ran the Barca shirt. Um, but because certain players are in the game, I went with the next best. And the next best for me was Rafael Marquez and also uh, Marquisi, uh, uh, Masorano. And the other beast, Masorano. Okay, now Masorano was somebody who played midfield and back line. I'm pretty sure he was a midfielder moved into the back line. Let me know if I'm wrong there, but I'm pretty I think he was a midfielder that got moved back, right? Or was he a center back that got moved? I don't know. But he played eight years for Barcelona, representing the shirt 334 matches. Played a little bit for Liverpool as well with three years for them, 139. But realistically, this Argentinian beast played a lot of games for Barcelona. Um, but again, I think he was a midfielder moved backwards. Um, but this is the back line I came up with. Puyol at right back, Jordi Alba at left back, Rafael Marquez. Uh, Masorano and Ter Stegen. Again, do I think PK, I mean, Puyol should be the right, the center back? Of course I do. But for chemistry purposes and the way the game is, if you guys play FC24, you guys understand that this um, is the best that I could do when it comes to the Barca best 11. Now, I want to go ahead and get the controversial one out of the way right now. Um, let's do it. Uh, this one is going to be a lot of conversation in the comments down below. Um, and I, I just want to go ahead and get this out of the way and make this very clear. The guy that I'm going to put at left, at left wing is not the guy that I want at left wing. It's not the guy that I prefer at left wing, but it's the guy that a lot of the younger generation is going to tell me to put there. Neymar. For me, it's Dingo. For me, Ronaldinho was a better left winger than Neymar. Now, that might be a nostalgic uh, merchant thing, and a lot of people might argue this here with me and, and be like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard anyone say. Um, Neymar is a better player. Neymar is this. Neymar is that. Um, the way Ronaldinho lads played the game is something that is, I don't even know how to, I don't know, man. Ronaldinho played the game, guys, at a level that was just beautiful man and I, I don't really know how to explain it but the way he let me love the way he made me love football is something that i'm so grateful um but as you guys can see he played 207 matches for barcelona with 94 get 94 goals scored for barcelona now when you look at stats and i know you guys are gonna say well you know what listen man um you know neymar did more stats and stuff modern football stats are much different from back then Right, but Ronaldinho was named FIFA World Player of the Year in 20, in, in 2004. Neymar never received that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so at the end of the day, when you really sit down and look at this guy's career, I think Ronaldinho is probably the best left winger to ever go through Barcelona. But I know a lot of people are Neymar fans, and what he achieved with Messi, a lot of people want him instead. So with that being said. I'm going to go with Neymar, but I think it should be Dingo. All right. I just want to get that out of the way right now. Should we go to now? Nah, we'll wait for another controversial one. OK, we're going to go to a midfield where this is no controversy at all. I think everybody uh, and their mamas and their grandmas and their grandpapas uh, can all agree that Xavi is one of the greatest midfielders to ever pass through this team. If everybody was in the game, my team would be Jordi. Puyol, PK, Donny Alves with Ter Stegen, Xavi, and Iniesta. There is no Xavi. There is, I mean, there is Xavi. There is no Iniesta. So they cannot have Iniesta in this team. That's unfortunate because Xavi and Iniesta is one of the greatest duos in all of sports. I don't care. You could talk about American football. You could talk about uh, 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 basketball. You could talk about the Splash Brothers with Steph Curry and, 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 and Thompson. I don't care. Listen, when you talk about duos, Xavi and Iniesta are one of the best duos in all of sports, lads. Like, I don't care what nobody says to me. It is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. I put it out there to the world. I'm going to let it sit out there, bro. If people want to say I'm dumb for that ball knowledge, then that's fine. But I think Xavi and Iniesta is one of the best duos that's ever been seen in sports. Now, with that being said, 
because there's no Iniesta, we had to fill this spot with somebody. So I decided to fill this spot with hopefully somebody that you guys don't yell at me. Uh, but I went with Yaya Torre. Um, now, again, I don't know if I'm making a poor decision here. Yaya Torre played 118 games with Barcelona, and he left after three years. Now, the reason he left uh, was because he bumped heads with Guardiola. Otherwise, he probably would have stayed there a lot longer had that not happened. He left Barcelona, jumped on the city board, and uh, kind of ran that one for 316 games. So is he more of a Man City legend? Of course, maybe, yeah. But the truth is, lads, and the facts are, this man represented Barcelona at one point in his career, which means he's allowed to be on Barcelona's greatest ever. If That's how it works, bro. If you put the shirt on and you played for the team, it doesn't matter what you did after, you played there. Um, so with that being said, I went with Xavi and Yaya Torre. Hopefully you guys think I made a wise decision here. Hopefully y'all don't think I did something stupid here. And hopefully I'm not missing somebody crazy because honestly, Chad, I, Chad, uh, lads, I, I, I could have went uh, Xavi and Biscuits, Sergio Biscuits, uh, but I'm going to go Yaya Torre. And it should be Sergio Biscuits if I'm being honest with you, but we're going to go Yaya Torre, okay? Um, but again, it probably should be Xavi and Yester and Sergio Biscuits if we're being honest, all right? Let's let's keep it real. Uh, but let's, uh, let's keep it moving, all right? Um, let's get the controversial one out the way. Uh, I know Real Madrid fans about to be mad at me and yell at me, but the truth is this, buddy. R9 played for Barca. It is what it is. We're going to keep his stacks with each other, okay? He played for Barcelona for 49 games and scored 47 goals. Now, I know y'all are going to turn to me and be like, yo, bro, stop that. Knock it off. Get that out of here. It was one season. Yeah, but in that one season, in that one season, Man put up 49 games and 47 goals in that time of football, in, in that football, back in the day, not modern football, in old football, lads. This guy did that. And, and you can argue, again, this can be out there. Let me put it out to the world. Maybe his best ever season came around the Barca time. Listen, bro, a, 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 a put it out there. Let it sit. You know, his inter days were incredible as well. Like, let's just be, let's just keep his stacks with each other, man. This guy, his best days might have came Barca or Inter. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think, but this guy was an absolute beast. So before y'all go crazy at me, Suarez is not in the game, and that's who probably would have been in this position. But if I had to, if I, if you told me, hey, build a team right now, that is going to beat everybody, and they had to have played for Barcelona. I would have went Dingo, R9. And then I would have gone, beside Dingo, Cruyff. One million percent. By the way, I have foot birthday Messi, but hold on. I would have went Dingo, Cruyff, R9. All of these players represented. All of these players represented Barcelona. All of these players put the Barcelona shirt on. Again, it doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter if they went to Madrid. It, that's irrelevant. The truth is they were Barca and they were Barca first <laughs> before Madrid. Now, I'm not saying, look, when I think about R9, of course, me too, bro. I think of him in the Real Madrid shirt. It's just the way it is. Same thing with Figu. But at the end of the day, they represented this club, lads. They represented this club and they represented it well because they played very, very good when they were there. Now, the next position and the last position is Messi. No argument here. Um, I could have put for birthday Messi in. I have him, um, but I thought that I wanted the team to look like this and Messi's foot birthday card can only go striker. Um, I want you guys to know that this is the team I would go with if I'm being 100% honest with you. I would go with this. Switch Puyol inside with PK, Dani Alves there, Xavi and Iesta, Messi, R9, Cruyff, and Dingo. If I if if I had to put like money on the line and I had to pick one Barcelona team to go smash everybody, it would be R9, Cruyff, Dingo, Messi, Xavi, Iniesta, Jordi Alba, Puyol, PK, Dani Alves, Ter Stegen. One million percent that would be my team. On the bench would have Luis Figo, Rivaldo, and Neymar. That would be on my bench, bro, with Suarez. And potentially Eto, because Eto played for them too, um, which is wild. But lads, I mean, look at that, man. Is that the greatest Barcelona starting 11 ever? We're missing players, by the way. Don't get it twisted. 
but it is a crazy team so i enjoy doing this video right here because I, it, it really shows ball knowledge it really really shows ball knowledge man so it's gonna be interesting if you guys think i have ball knowledge or if i don't so this is the team we have to play against with our barcelona greatest 11 let me know how i did in the comments down below like i said bro it, it's controversial oh th those that's a clash of jerseys um it's controversial 100 100 seeing dingo uh, r9 and Neymar over Dingo and listen bro it's very controversial and football is really that's what a beautiful thing about football man everybody has their own views and their own way of seeing the beautiful game this is the way I saw the beautiful game man and trust me man Barca definitely plays the beautiful game Cruyff to that boy R9 R9 to Messi Messi can't sneak it in I thought Messi was gonna be the first one to score that was very close Jordy can whip this one to the back post. And it's Rafael Marquez who misses. That was so close. R9. Hit that skill move. R9. R9 scores first. It's Ronaldo. The Brasileiro. Puts it into the back of the net. What a hit. Nice skill move. Slides it in. Big R9 makes it 1-0. Messi, 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 Messi. R9, Cruyff. The, ah, I tried. You know what? Doing too much, bro. I was really trying to play that Jogo Bonito, that that Barcelona football, with another layoff, and I messed up. And JJ Acocha, Puyol can't stop it, and it's one-one. Good goal. I messed up. What a find. That's my boy Dingo. Laid off the. Oh, that's football. Oh, ho, 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 man. Barca fans are proud, bro. Barca fans are proud of me right there. Nah, that Xavi link up with my boy Cruyff was a level, bro. That was Barcelona football at its finest. That was that beautiful tiki taka. And that is exactly what Barca fans came to see. Yo, man, what a play. You know what the crazy thing is? I know people will laugh at me. And I'm not glazing here, okay? So don't play. Oh, you glazing. Oh, you glazing. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, offside, offside, offside. I'm not glazing, bro. But like when you when you go to pick 11 players that played for Barcelona, this team is so big. This team has so much history. How are you supposed to? Like, and I'm not glazing, bro. Don't say I'm glazing, bro. This is not a glaze. I'm being serious. How are you meant to pick 11 players that have represented this football club, bro? Like, are you kidding me? Go on, Christ. <laughs> I, I, can you do hey, when you're doing Barca video? I, was, hey. I don't think you can. But yo, for real, how are you supposed to pick just 11? Like, that's crazy. Suarez, Eto, Dingo. Oh, my goodness, bro. The list is so, so deep. And the list just keeps going on and on and on and on. Rivaldo and, oh, man. It's hard. Give me that. Give me that. Oof. Ooh, Neymar. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey man when you're good you're good not me the players when the players are good that ball fell right to neymar man i don't know what happened it like fell off bounced off of r9 went to neymar we're up 4-1 we're cruising dale messi dale messi dale messi dale messi dale messi 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 Messi, 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 come on Messi, big win for Barcelona, the greatest 11, that was incredible, again, I guess it's time for you to rate my ball knowledge, this is the team I came up with lads, and I hope I represented Barcelona correctly, I, I hope Barca fans that see this think I represented their, their, their team properly and i know there's always that stick and that stigma of oh figu and r9 traders um the truth is lads i know they went to your rival club i know that i do but the facts is this those players did play for your club and those players may have had their best ever seasons in their careers at your club and it just so shows the standards of barcelona um they really, really get the best out of players. And that's why Luis Figo was on the bench. And that's why R9 was in the 11. Because these players played for Barca and played incredible for Barca. Hopefully, y'all think I represent your club properly. That is my greatest 11 for Barcelona. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you in the next greatest video. If you guys want to see one, let me know who you want to see next. Thanks for watching.
for you. We out of here.